What is good guys, we are here with Smog Tools Finals, Solon vs Blunder Game 1, Black and White. Solon is the highest seed, so he got the pick. I'm not surprised at all that he picks Black and White, definitely the tier he's the best at out of the three. And I feel like he has to win this, um, Blunder is a bit better at Gen 6 and Gen 7, if you ask me. So looking at the teams, probably a Scarf Lander on both sides and then Rocks Tars, most likely. It could also be Rocks Rachi on Solon. Then um, two Hazard stacking teams, Spikes, Skarm on Blunder's side most likely, and probably Spikes, Pharaoh on Solon's side. Then uh, I think Mew runs like will with Softbolt, Ice Beam, Taunt, at least that's what I've seen the most in Black White. Then Ladi is probably Specs, um, usually runs like Sleep Talk, Surf, Draco, and I think Psychic or Psyshock. Uh, Tita probably just uh, either Choppleberry or... I guess if Lando's not Scarf, Tita could also be Scarf, but I doubt it's Scarf Tar. And then... I think Scum runs Spadev, it's like Roost, Spikes, Wurman, and either Taunt or Toxic or Brave, but I'm not exactly sure what Scum runs in the last slot. And Jirachi could be... Um, I think it runs usually mixed, like Iron Head, Thunder. Um, sometimes Icy Wind or some Hidden Power, sometimes Hidden Power Fire or Hidden Power Ice, I think. And yeah, if Tita is not the Rocker, then Jirachi could be um, a CM or a Sub Variant or something like that, maybe. We see <laughs> Rotom on Rotom Elite, probably just um, will -Wiz. they're gonna trade will -Wiz, probably turn 1. And the Rotom that is slower here has the advantage, because the Rotom that is slower gets a slow Volt Switch, and yeah, it seems like Blunder's Rotom is faster. So Blunder might not want to go for Volt Switch exactly, he goes for Hydro Pump, because if Blunder goes for Volt Switch, then Solvent would get a slow Volt Switch. And if Blunder goes Ladi and Solvent gets a slow Volt Switch into Tita, then he can trap the Ladi. You guys get what I'm trying to say, and it was too risky in my opinion to Volt Switch out hard into Landris and have Solon predict that and go for a double will o -Wisp. Yeah, the reason why he pumped that is it, he didn't want um, Solon to get a slow Volt Switch on one of his mods that is not a ground, and he also didn't want anything to come in on a potential will o -Wisp. Solon can now go, I guess Ferrothorn get up a hazard, he has a few options here pretty much. Ladi is an option. But yeah, everyone was hyped for this. You guys can see the smog to chat is wild. We already have 380 people and it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up. Um, let's see if we can hit like, I guess, 1000 people. That's what we hit during, I think, was it? So, CUB versus Blunder for SPL. So yeah, Tita comes out, I think he's gonna switch out. He probably only went Tita to get up the sand because he can chip down the Rotom. Sandstorm cancels out the leftovers and Burn obviously does 12% in Black White. So this Rotom is getting chipped quite a lot. Uh, Blunt doesn't want to stay in there on a potential, um, maybe if the Tita was offensive and he didn't want to take his Stone Edge, especially if his Rotom is Spadef. Uh, Solon pivots back into his Rotom, I think, I think expecting either the Landreth or he expected the Rotom to go for will wisp or something like that. And Blunda gets a U-turn out with his most likely Scarf Landreth into the Mew. Now we're either going to see a Taunt or a Softbolt here from Blunda. I don't think Solon is going to... Um, he goes back into Landreth picking the Volt Switch. Oof. Okay, so now he can U-turn here and Solon either has to pick his fodder or switch out. Goes into Ferrothorn because he wants to get some Iron Bubs on the Landris. And now he can go into his Tita here, or Mew. Okay, Mew. So Mew wants to will with the Ferrothorn. The reason why I saw Tita, because Tita usually runs uh, either Super Power or um, Fire Blast, I think. So knocks off breaking the Taunt, gets rid of the Mew's leftovers. Good play by Solon. Now Mew's softball here is really obvious, so Solon can switch out here into either the Ladi or... Okay, goes Tita. So I assume Solon just wants to get up his rocks here. And um, Blana can either taunt breaking that, or he goes for Wisp, he just wants to burn a Tita. He misses a Wisp, which is annoying, because um, now Solon can potentially switch out, and yeah, he sacks off the Rotom. So now his Tita is not burned, and now what does he go to? Either Ladi or Jirachi, I think, is what you go to here. Go with Jirachi, so this is probably a fast Jirachi, and definitely, yeah, it has sub, exactly. So sub up, subs up on the Willow Wisp, and now this is probably the Iron Head Thunder set, with either Icy Wind or some Hidden Power. That's what I'm thinking. So Skarmory comes out in the Iron Head. Let's see if it's Lefty. So um, if it's sh uh, Rocky Helmet, it's Rocky Helmet. So Thunder comes out. It's gonna do a lot. And uh, Blunder's probably gonna will one here. Let's see if he gets paralyzed. He doesn't get paralyzed. That would have been really bad for him. So Lando comes out. I assume we're gonna see HPIs here. Yep. I think that's HPIs at least. Picks up the Skarmory. I don't think that crit mattered. So Tita comes out here, knowing that the Landers is locked in. And Blunder gets up his rocks, so Jirachi can potentially sub up or spare Iron Head. I think we're gonna see a sub. And uh, Blunder goes hard into Landris. Okay, you're just Iron Heads. Blunder goes hard Landris. Blunder is most likely gonna U-turn out here. 
He doubles out because he doesn't want to take Iron Babs in case the Pharaoh Song comes out. Really good play on Blunder's side. I thought he would U turn, but Mew also covered the Pharaoh and the Lander. So good play. Now he's going to see a Will O Wisp. Oh, he does taunt. Okay. So he predicts Solon to go for spikes there. Blunder getting the place correct now. He can just soft bolt up here. So he goes into the most likely specs, laddie. Um, I assume we see Blunder sack something here. Or soft bolt again. Does he soft bolt again? Soin goes Rachi breaking the softball there. Yeah, really good play on Soin's part. So basically, Blunder softball there, predicting the Draco Meteor, then, and now Soin can get up a sub because we know that uh, this is probably max speed or near max speed Rachi outspeeds the Mew, especially. Definitely outspeeds the Mew is what I'm trying to say. And now Blunder has to U turn out because this might have like Icy Wind or Hidden Power Ice. So U turns out into what? Mew? Maybe Sex the Rotom or something like that? Because I think the Rotom is relatively low. Yeah, yeah, he does go Rotom. So Solon subs again, predicting the U-turn. I mean, subbing again just let him scout what Blunder went for. But U-turn was relatively obvious. And now if he can flinch this down, then he can keep his sub up and he's in a really good position. So first flinch, he just needs another flinch and his Rotom's pretty much dead. He's getting leftovers back. And their Rotom, even though Ironhead only does 5%, takes it. Okay, he doesn't want to... I mean, yeah. Getting the flinch is 60%, hitting Sunder is 70%. So he went for the... Higher chance. So good play on Sowin's part. Now Ladi's gonna be able to break this up. And now we're gonna see if this Raji has ice even though hidden power ice or something like that. Yep, I think that's hidden power ice. Not exactly sure. Let me know in the comments if you know better. I'm no black white expert. So he goes into Tita here because that covers the He knows the Ladi's Sowin knows the Ladi's locked into surf. So he's either gonna go Pharaoh or Ladi and double into Tita covers Pharaoh and Ladi because this probably has a move like either a uh, Fire Blaster Superpower to hit the Pharaoh zone exactly. So when scouts for that good play and now we can U turn out here with the Landris. And the Tita is pretty much dead. Pursuits predict in the U turn. Um, get some chip on that. Now Tita dies to rocks. So when it goes to his Tita, I think we're gonna see like Crunch. Yeah, Crunch exactly. So either Landris or Mew can come out now. Mew comes out. I think you're just gonna Willow Wisp here. And yeah, Solon is just gonna spam Crunch most likely and probably gonna fish for a defense drop on the Mew here. Uh, Blunder obviously gonna softball up here with the Mew. And I mean, Solon can go into Jirachi one of these turns if he predicts a softballed, but he doesn't have to. He can also just spam Crunch, and if he gets a defense drop, he gets some more chip on the Mew. And he can either, can either sack the Tita and go into Jirachi and sub off afterwards, or he can try to get the Jirachi in on a turn where the Mew is gonna go for softball later on. Um, because if he gets a defense drop, um, it's relatively obvious to me that Blunder's going to be forced to spam softball but oh exactly just by spamming crunch you pretty much make a blunder think that you stay in with the tita and he's not going to will wisp expecting the jirachi so i think one of these turns you can potentially go to jirachi but he can also just sack the tita i don't think it matters too much at this point pretty sure someone has this game wrapped up so he goes to jirachi there expecting the softball and blunder just go for softball so now the jirachi can uh, get up a free substitute here and pretty sure uh, someone has the black white game so there's the taunt, now Jirachi can just click Iron Head here. I guess, yeah, you don't want to Thunder because... I don't know if um, Synchronize goes through Substitute, because if you parrot the Mew, yeah, you have no reason not to Iron Head, because, um, yeah, you have the flinch chance, it's stab, and... The, the Mew is pretty much not healing because Iron Head plus Sandstorm, and eventually he's gonna get flinched. Though he's only healing a little bit, and exactly, eventually the flinch is gonna come. Game 2 already started, I'm gonna um, watch this to the end and then... Okay, so, <laughs> we're gonna pause it, we're gonna be right back with Game 2. I was gonna say we're gonna finish this 